Looking for a flash, it could be very tricky, especially when you wanted to um, have it for your Leica camera. Now, I have the Leica S, I have the Leica Q, I have the Leica SL. So I was looking for a flash that I can have it sometimes a different look or paparazzi look, or whatever. So when you have, I tried almost all the flashes from a different brand. So I wanted to have this kind of a good flash that it communicate with the camera. And unfortunately, none of these flashes from the other brands, all, all almost all of them, not was just one and that's it. No, I tried like few from each company that it may relate to but because you know that you have in a flash in the pin in the middle that this is what triggered the flash and then you have like a small two three pins that this is communicate with the flash as a TTL that it makes work automatic or aperture priority or whatever priority you want so this is kind of like the communication signal as a CPU kind of uh, what to tell what to order the flash to do as settings of the zoom in the head yes or no is the flash is up or down down, all this kind of a communication so all of that give error on the camera for example uh, the like as L cannot communicate with any of these flashes sometimes it give error like the screen start flashing or whatever not because I can turn it on or off from the settings no because there is an error signal it coming from the flash toward the camera that's why because one of the pins are connected to the camera the other one is not connected with the camera and the third one is connected in a weird way this is where things could get bad and I tried to cover them up and just keep the middle but it doesn't work so I was looking hard and really 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 all over the place till I found the Leica SF64 now there is a smaller one. I wanted to try it also, but I couldn't find it in stock, but I found this somewhere out of nowhere because it's discontinued, but I want this big flash because I know it's powerful when it comes to light firing. That one, I could get it anytime and I can, I can just go to the Leica store and get it. I think it's called the Leica SF60. It's the smaller version. And the one that's SF64, which I will do unboxing for you because nobody's doing unboxing these days with this king, you know? So I will be honored to do the first unboxing for the Leica SF64. So I found one, I think not in Berlin, in Austria. Can you believe they still send postcards? <laughs> this is nice, my friend. I we missed this, you know, I have a goosebump already. This is so nice, you know. Hello, Mr. Spencer, you know, thank you for that greeting. This is nice. This is nice. I don't or maybe this is showed the originality of the people, you know. And they sent me also a nice gift. It's called Leica, so the Sochfot card set. You can put my Leica, um, uh, like a Polaroid uh, digital instant film. I had a problem with that camera. I will explain to you later on in a different video. But uh, I'm trying to see where is the camera already with Leica <laughs> because they need to fix it because it doesn't work out of nowhere. Anyway, they sent me this, so I'll put my, 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 my cameras and my photos with it. And let's talk about the flash for a second. So, you have it in a nice box as you see, a uh, two, two box system thing. And uh, apparently you may just find the flash, as I think or know. So of course you get this. So you have this, you have that, you have the paper, you have... Maybe the manual is sometimes good to read. I know everybody's like, oh, who need this, who need that? It's just stupid philosophy to, to put everybody in your same genre of like, oh, you don't do this? Okay, let's follow the leader, the idiot leader. Don't do these things. Sometimes you need to read Flash. Okay, this is have a lot of settings and I have a touch screen. Don't tell me out of the blue, you're gonna know everything. Anyway. Who am I to say, don't do this and don't do that? But for example, just whatever makes sense, just do it. Just don't listen to people. Just try to see what makes sense. They, they put a manual there. They wrote a manual there for you to read it because there's a lot of information. You don't know about the flash. By the way, there's nothing in the box besides this. <laughs> so, nice pouch, whatever you want to call it, case. And the flash itself. Um, let's put batteries on it. So we have the batteries. Speaking of batteries, while I put the batteries, um, this flash I liked it because it's a big, it's a big head. The head is really big. 
and when it comes a big hit it's powerful and it's communicating with all the cameras of Leica so this one I was talking about you have pins here so the pins the middle always trigger the flash no matter what kind of camera it is now we, the problem is with the three other pins this is where it comes tricky so with other brands it touch maybe one from the camera and the other touches two and this when you have start having weird systematical thing so the flash itself is really nice it's a it's a good weight and oh wow. and you have this kind of a 64 s64 and that's it, it now it's a touch screen which is cool and see you need to read the manual you have strobe you have a you have m which is obvious we know what is it and you go like nicely like that. It's not like a cell phone, you go this and that, you know. Every, everything now is supposed to be like a cell phone base, which is weird, but it's nice to have a hard buttons. So anyways, I don't know what I'm doing, but at the same time, it's logical for me to know what, what, what does it mean. Uh, I think, okay, you do this, it's okay, okay. The head is nice, you have a nice accent of gray. You have the, the card, the bouncy card. When you do anything here, it shows on the system. It shows on the on the on the on the screen. The screen is fully touched, by the way. It's nice. Okay, you have a. You can. This is a test button, and the other button is the menu button, and this is it, which is nice. Okay, that's it. It's a flash. <laughs> but let me put it for you on the Leica SL, and you see how the setup look like. You. Okay, here you go. Well, if you want to see it without the cap, it's also possible. Why not? So you go, here you go, and you go like this. And of course, you know, you don't do that unless you want to do a paparazzi style, right? I'm not going to tell you how to do your flash. It's up to you. But it's nice to have a communication, a good communication between a flash that like I make and also um, for their cameras so the pins everything will communicate well because the pins are sitting right directly to the pins of the camera so this way they communicate without any error messages or all these things so here you go it's a good selfie camera no it's a good portrait camera anyway so this is it that's how it looks like it's a very very heavy setup my friend but you are when you believe me when you're holding such a thing like this or like this you know you're holding something bro you're holding something good so when you're holding something good that's you know you have more confident you are like confident person so you're having this or you're having the like uh the, the other like uh, so people don't, don't think i'm joking i have another like uh so this is the like uh, 50 uh lens sl it's the big one it's not the small one and this is the leica sl here you go nice they both humongous they both heavy and they both amazing 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 quality very recommended very recommended and no need for you to be scared about if i'm making commission out of you or i'm making money out of you i am absolutely making nothing from you besides if you just like to say, like everybody else, send me a private message or an email saying it was a good choice of watching your video and it was a good choice of what I purchased because it's not disappointed. And I'm so happy to see all these kind of Instagram messages. Uh, some of them email me, some of them add me on my Facebook group. Add me on, I'm sorry, on my Facebook account and they send me messages about it. Some, some people asking questions about they really wanted to, to spend heavily on this thing. And I'm making all these kind of effort for you guys and it's happy. I'm happy with it because it's, it makes me feel good because I'm having amazing time. I'm having good quality control uh, work with, with, with my cameras. So why don't I pass it to someone almost... I was in your shoes one day. I didn't know what to do and I had to learn in a, in a hard way. I need to buy things. I need to sell things. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm confused. I'm looking for help. Everybody's just taking advantage of me. Everybody was just wanted to buy, buy, buy and I'm, and I'm buying shit and I have to send it back again. I have to sell it half the price because this is not me and I'm, I'm stuck with it. 
but now it's a different communication and all these things but now i'm so happy that i'm sharing all this nice information about me as a leica photographer that owns many leica systems and i'm working with it and i'm so happy with the image quality and you pay for it and it gives you what you really want and more and this is what impress you and don't forget don't buy expensive body with a cheap lens because and say you're looking for a vintage look this is not the way to go this camera is not for you to make a vintage look you need to have a different camera from Leica stick with Leica but not with this kind of a thing because this is a bit different look than a vintage look with your excuse of putting an expensive body with a bad cheap lens what this I'm just saying watch my video and you understand it which is saying don't put uh, don't buy expensive body with a cheap lens and vice versa all right thank you so much for watching and speaking of like clubs and like a photographer and everything go and uh, join us on the like group i made a really nice club it's called a like a club um it's putting all i put the link um you just can click it. it it leads you right away to the group it's an amazing group that it's putting all the like photographers uh, from uh, like a s sl q uh, uh, cl um, deluxe m all of these photographers instead of being in different groups, I put them in all one club. It's called the Leica Club, where we share information and I'm gonna share all my videos there because we're almost hitting almost over 5,000 members, which is crazy because I just opened it and I see a lot of people liking this kind of idea because we all sitting in one place as a happy family that no need for us to be in a separate group all the time because I have just this camera. But in this way, you can see what other people doing with other cameras. And I'm gonna share all my videos there because I'm so happy and honored to do such a thing and I see the community need to be a little bit more active because all these people are just following the trend of what other people are telling them to do or what they think and when they look at their actual real deal or opinion or what they have they absolutely own nothing from what they say they just want this to take advantage of either views and this and that and of their position and this is, this is where you be played with or um, about and this is I think it's wrong anyway so and also please check my work at uh, expertotv.com ramsey ramsino.com ramsey spencer and if you'd like to see some of my instagram at ramsey spencer and this is very much about it if you have any questions let me know i have really great videos i made and if you'd like to have uh, i will do prints of all the all the like uh, things i made before I, and i'm still doing it because if you watch my videos i have really good videos about saying you need to print your work and also um, I'm making re unboxing videos. I exper is sharing experience what happened with me in a negative way so you understand that not everything is sugar coated in life and everybody's happy. No, there is sometimes bad things happen and you need to, you need to know how to deal with that. All right. And that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching and hopefully this unboxing video for the first one in the whole YouTube that I'm doing such an unboxing for such a flash that it doesn't exist at all. But uh, hopefully you if you want to you put your hands on it. It's a really great flash because I know I'm gonna be me it's gonna fill up my needs I think the way I wanted to have this kind of paparazzi look very overexposed face very dark skin uh, very dark hair or shadows or whatever this kind of a thing because this one it communicate well with the Leica cameras and this one I say try to always match the same company's items together because this one you get the best results regardless you can afford it you cannot afford it from the cheap one all the one to the expensive one so whether you want to buy a very cheap camera just buy everything made by that camera if you want to buy expensive camera just buy everything made for that camera because the company knows exactly how to put things together and talk to each other whether it's expensive or whether it's cheap it's a very good advice for you to understand this kind of a thing all right thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next video ciao, ciao.